Emmanuel Macron has rolled the dice. The French president has called a snap parliamentary election after his centre-right party suffered a heavy defeat in Sunday's European Parliament polls. France's far-right party, the Rassemblement National of Marine Le Pen, got 31% of the vote, more than twice Macron's own, with less than 15%. Considering the French leader's unpopularity, this is a huge gamble he's taking, and it is fraught with risk. Macron's aim seems to be to shock French voters about the rise of the far right, warning them one thing is to protest, a whole different thing is to govern. His plan is to build a coalition of mainstream parties from the centre-right to the centre-left that would shore up his own crippling renaissance, as it is called, although he might want to change its name. Since the far right might be the largest party in the next parliament, Macron could also decide to appoint a far right prime minister, either Le Pen herself or Jordan Bardella, the 28 year old that she has chosen as party leader while she prepares a presidential run for 2027. During the next year, after which he can call snap elections again, Macron could then try to highlight the inability of the far right to govern. Whatever the scenario, the big risk is that the next French government could become impotent. That would delay the urgent need to turn around France's public finances. Debt is at 110% of GDP and the fiscal deficit is at more than 5%. And it would cripple decision making at the EU level if the region's second largest power is unable to agree on topics such as Ukraine, the policy toward China or the pace of the green transition.